All right, so when you're ready to do your letter, you're going to tell me what letter you want to do. And you can either pick a font like this, which is quite plain and it's simple and nice and bold, which is good. Or you can pick something a little bit more fancy, I guess. It's Times New Roman. But there's some things we have to do to this one before we can start shading the back to transfer it onto good paper. So if you picked this letter, kind of a bold block print, you're going to take and flip it over. And you can't see it here. Maybe if I put it like that. See how you can see through the paper and see that outline? What you're going to do is you're going to take one of these black pencils. There's a bunch of them in the yellow box over by the acrylic paint that you've been using for your portrait project in a yellow box, I think it's labeled drawing pencils. So you're going to take these. You can sharpen them in a regular pencil sharpener. But you want to use these because it's nice and dark. You're going to shade that line. Doesn't take very long. You want it, you don't want it thin like this. You're not looking to just go right on top of it like that. You can just quickly, I hold it like I would if I was cutting something, a knife, cutting up some food, turning the paper, it's easier. This process does not take long. Again, you want it to be nice and dark. Okay, so that's what I would do with this one and then I'll show you how to transfer it in a second. But I first want to show you what to do if you pick something like this. The changes we need to make is any of the really skinny parts, we got to make those a little thicker. And we just need the, we don't want to build a little square part like that. So we're going to bring it down to a point. So that's what I'm going to, um, first thing I'm going to do is take my ruler and I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker. I'm going to take it, I want to use a Sharpie. Get it as straight as I can. There we go. And I can round this a little. Then each corner I'm going to come down and make into a point. Just like that. So now when I flip it over and I go to do my tracing, you can see that I can see through and I can see that Sharpie line too. So I'm going to do the same thing as the other one, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to shade. You want to go over any of the Sharpie points, lines that you made. Keep going. Just want to make sure they're nice and dark, like I did on the other one. All right. So now that you've done that, you should be ready to transfer it onto good paper. So what you do is you should get a piece of that good paper from me. If I haven't given it to you already, sorry, I'm finding mine. It looks like this. You can pick what side. One side's glossy, one side's matte. It's your choice. You're going to take your letter and you're going to center it in this paper. Take some tape, don't need a lot, just tape the sides or somewhere easy. Then you're going to trace over it. You can use your ruler if you want for straight lines, but you need to trace with a pen. Don't try to trace with that pencil. And again, pens are in that yellow box over by the acrylic paint. Just going to trace over this. Again, I like to use my ruler on the streets. Why not? I have the ruler. It's easy enough to do. So what's going to happen is the pencil lines that you put on the back, <clears throat> excuse me, that rubbing is going to transfer onto the good paper when you trace over it. It's like making your own, you know, carbon paper. It's an easy thing to do with a lot of different, you want to trace something, a lot of different things you want to trace, and you don't have car carbon paper. So I just test it to make sure that I've gone through, and I have. Then I'm going to pull this off. 
this is garbage. You can recycle this now that it's done. So from here, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to write my name. And I'm going to write my team color. And now I can start building and getting all their supplies for that. So watch the next video for that.